DNF Rodriguez decided she liked research after taking some psychology courses. Working in Dr. Cristina Barroso's lab convinced her she wants to work with children and teenagers. I'm really interested in the prevention work and so I think that um, working with children and adolescents um, during their teenage years is crucial for the development later in their adult life. Rodriguez is in the Minority Biomedical Research Support Program at UTBTSC. Students accepted into this program are known as RISE Scholars. What we're trying to do is to prepare students for the rigors of a PhD program. We want them to understand that you know maybe they're taking 18, 15 hours here, but a PhD program is going to really step it up. There are seminars, workshops, internships, and help with graduate school applications. Whatever students need to get into a PhD program and succeed. The students also get hands-on research experience working with faculty in labs across the campus. We have students that have already been in journals, that have been part of writing articles for journals, abstracts. Our students present at national conferences their uh, research projects. It's, it's amazing what these students are doing. Rodriguez works 15 hours a week as a research assistant, recruiting families for a study on the effect of diabetes. We conduct motivational interview, interviews with some of the parents that are selected out of our sample and um, basically talking over, you know, um, different sorts of behaviors that are known to decrease the risk of obesity and diabetes. For this senior from Mercedes, her days are long. Between her work in the lab, classes, homework, she's also applying to 10 doctoral programs. Yale is at the top of her list. Not much free time, but Rodriguez says it's all part of being a RISE scholar.